You've never heard that in my life. Fuck. Potential treasure? The treasure always like... Oh, it was the water. The water turned to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Okay. That makes sense. That's okay. I didn't give a shit. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so I made garlic confit and put that into the focaccia bread and then made, like, big-ass fancy sandwiches with it, and it was so good. I dream about that sandwich sometimes. I dream about that sandwich. Confit's too good. Way too good. Garlic in particular. The fact that the garlic becomes so, like, sweet and tasty, you could just eat it raw, and it doesn't have, like, that bite to it. Oh. What's it become, the sandwich? Okay, maybe I need to go to that other... No, oh, there's nothing there. I'm so fucking confused where this thing is. I was really hoping this wasn't going to be a pain in the ass to get one fucking Triforce piece today. Huh. Did I blow those up? That seems interesting, too. That door there. Fuck the wind, I forgot. Forgot all about the wind. Hang on. Something will become all right. <laughs> Am I being a Fakasha? There are worse things to be. Absolutely. That if you could pee any bread. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Let's go interact with this door. Only bread. I'd be down. Everyone loves bread, you know? Not everyone. I feel like a majority of people love bread. Big piece of sourdough. That's my next project, I think, is making um, sourdough starter from scratch. I think we talked about this already. That's what prompted the cooking stream talk was the sourdough starter. Huh. I can't get up here. Unless I just wasn't close enough. Let me hookshot to those. <laughs> What's up, Martian? How you doing? Chat, hit me. What do I need to do? 
I don't understand how to even start this puzzle. Need to drown? That I could do easily. Drown eternally. Well, prefer not to. Who can say what they can and can't do in that regard? But like, Ben drowned. I don't know who Ben is, but rest in peace. I can break this barrel over here too. Did I miss a barrel? Legend of Zelda creepy pasta. Fuck, is it an invisible? Did I first try that shit? Please be trap horse, please. Please be trap horse. Hey, there we go. Sick. Okay. Um, I need to let's go to Tingle. I'm so fucking smart. It's crazy. It only took me half an hour. Now I know, like, that's something I can look for, though, you know? Yeah, you are. My head's getting too big. Quick, make fun of me, chat. God, I have too many things to watch tonight. Watching Mandalorian, I gotta watch Ted Lasso. I gotta watch Grom. So we're retired to 75. That's the thing that's particularly exciting about this job. I didn't talk about this, but the retirement plan that I'm getting, I'm 10 years into, and I only need to hit 25 years. Maybe 30, actually. I can't remember. Still. Puts me like 50-something. Kind of sick, right? No, I don't want to be... I don't want to be a little too... Hopeful, because like... That sounds too good to be true. But there's potential there. There's potential for a comfortable... Late life for me. We'll see. Okay. Now we have room for more money, but we should have enough to buy the rest of the shit. So I remember the ghost ship, the clues for the ghost ship are at Windfall Isle with the picture guy. I hope for it. Thank you. I do too. I hope it works out. I could use some good luck. Art. Go for that. Oh, there's one on outset. There's a Triforce piece somewhere on Outset Island. Where? Ah! I know where. 
I know where. Chat, I have an idea. I'm going to guess it's the big rock that I have to have the gloves to lift. Because I could not possibly have lifted that until after the, uh, the Triforce hunt. Oh, my God. The music here is so cozy. May not have a brain? What? <laughs> I have an idea. Chat, we've talked about this. What are the what are the games coming out in the next like couple months that you're looking forward to? Is anyone looking forward to uh, the new Jedi Fallen? Not Fallen Order. What is it? Jedi Survivor. The Je the Star Wars Dark Souls game. Anyone soaked on that one? Fallen Survivor. Is that what it is? Wait for selling that one. That's really smart, Ranzen. Also, what's going on, Ranzen? Good to see you. It did drop really fast, didn't it? Resident Evil 4 first. When is that coming out? That is that's this month, right? That's like a week away or something like that, I feel like. God damn it. Next Friday? Hell yeah. Resident Evil 4, um, that is the only Resident Evil I played to completion. Um, and I really enjoyed it back in the day. Never keep track of games these days because they the dates are never accurate, right? <laughs> I'm sure it's been a thing for as long as I've been playing games, but it feels like, it feels like delays and stuff have been more and more frequent. Savage Labyrinth. Like, around COVID time, I feel like it really took off, right? The start of COVID is when I remember. But, like, I imagine that shit has been around forever. Expected. Yeah, I'm really tired of living in unprecedented times. I'm really fucking sick of it. I'm ready for some precedented times. Yeah, it's pretty chill so far. We'll move slower. The like how so? <laughs> Every six months. I know, girl. I'm so fucking tired of it, dude. <laughs> I'm tired of setting records and like, ah, this is a new, this is a new problem that we haven't seen six days. The fucking 1700s. Yeah. Have to wait longer for things. You're balding thanks to it? I hope we're on community. Oops. By faith that you will rock it better than any of us here. 
And also, I fully understand. I've been kind of worrying about my uh, my hair lately. Like, my dad's hair is not bald, but it is fucking thin. And he also didn't wear headphones and hats his entire life. Like I do, constantly, you know? Man, that's something I, I never thought would be a problem. Is, uh, like, the, like, what fucking headphones do to your ears and shit? After, like, if I, if I, like, no life it on a game all weekend or something like that. If I don't, like, once I'm done or, like, once a day or something like that. Go and, like, really, like, scrub behind my ears and shit. They feel terrible. They feel terrible. And I have to imagine it's entirely because of headphones. Because it only happens when I spend, like, an entire fucking weekend playing shit with headphones on, you know? You're surprised? Is it in your genetics, you think, Ranson? Start talking about what? Okay, you fuck. Girl grew fungus in her ears? What? Oh. Because of constant. Oh, God. I shower so much more now than I used to. Um. that I have to assume that it is impossible to happen to me, but I, now that I've heard this, I assume that it's going to happen to me. <laughs> Grandfather on my mother's side was completely bald. And yet here you are. Tell them all to shove it. <laughs> Laughing in the face of genetics. I love it. New fear unlocked? Hard relate. That's like, that reminds me of the, um... The... It was a story that I heard when I was young about, like, a, a person who had, like, cockroaches go in there. It stuck with me for my entire life, because... Fucking how wouldn't it, you know? It's one of those ones that has to be, a, like, a, a fucking old wives' tale or something, right? But, like, goddamn... He's eight years younger than you? Do you think then maybe that you have, like, passed the point at which it would have started if it was going to happen? You know how nasty you have to be for that to happen? That's true. That's someone who's definitely not washing their ears. But also, like, it's from the headphones, you know? Next question, though, is, like, wouldn't that shit hurt if your ear is dirty enough to... If your ear is dirty enough to harbor fungus growth, it's got to be sore. Got the salt and pepper thing going on? I have the salt and pepper thing going on, like, in the exact same pattern that my dad has it, like, on the sides. It's, like, only on the sides. Yours get so sensitive? Mine too. I found a pair of in-ear headphones that I really like, and I actually lost them. Um, and I bought new ones are like from the same brand they're super cheap it's like they're like knockoff airpods um but they cost 20 bucks instead of fucking 150 or whatever the fuck airpods are um it's okay they were broken and i need new ones anyways i just hang on to shit because i always think i can fix it <laughs> it's like i had before i moved i had like fucking three pairs of Converse where the soles had come out. Cause I was just like, well, 
I can definitely just like clue this shit back in, you know? God damn it. Next to him? Like a uh what's it called? Like the, the cochlear implant kind of thing? But for just listening to uh to music? Is that how you say it? Cochlear? I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what I'm talking about. That's sick. Yeah, I eventually did get rid of my Converse. But what was kind of cool is, like, every year I would just buy a new pair, which it's a bummer that they would only last a year, but I wore those things every fucking day. And the way that I, like, sit with my feet and everything, like, they just get bent to hell. Um, but I was lucky, like, one year the left one popped out and one year the right one popped out. So then I had, I just, like, fucking mixed, mixed and matched pairs. They were a little faded differently, which didn't look great, but I also didn't give a um, but now work just gives me like a shitload of shoes and we have a, um, we have an Adidas sponsorship. So I get like 40% off the Adidas website. It's fucking nuts. And I've grown to like Adidas shoes now. So now I just wear like sporty Adidas shit all the time. This place is very cool. I like this. I like these fighting things. Soccer cleats? God damn, I bet those are expensive. Sports equipment is so disgustingly expensive because it's like, like it's kind of mass marketed a little bit, but like not to a general public, right? So they know that they can just fucking steal from you essentially. Some really expensive cleats? Ooh, what is this? Oh, fuck you. Okay, that could have been way worse. Called open ear headphones or bone conduction headphones. Interesting. Or possibly horrifying. My dad, uh, my dad needs hearing aids now, and they're Bluetooth, so he can just use them as headphones too, just like really fucking convenient, fancy headphones. And I'm kind of jealous, cause like he's the one person who gets to wear headphones at his work now, <laughs> cause he has, <laughs> cause he has, uh, what do you call it? Fucking hearing aids. And he can control the volume and shit with his phone. So it's like, I'm done with this conversation. I'm going to go ahead and just turn this down, you know? Like, <laughs> you lucky fuck. Am I fighting every enemy in the game? Yeah, there's like a thing for the TV too that it just connects to. So they start going to watch TV or something and it's just playing in his ears. It's actually really fucking cool. Pulls up on him, mutes you. <laughs> Could you imagine? Holy shit. Oh, that doesn't... Okay, hang on. Oh, my God. These things are doing more damage to me than the fucking big-ass enemies. There we go. Yeah, this is, this is fun. I like this. Brain empty, just killing a shitload of enemies. 
Okay. Well, I no longer left. These things are really hard to lock onto for some reason. Oh, I can just smack these ones because they're not the blue ones. Hear the neighbors fighting down the street, really? And for him, it was probably just like a nice, like, low hum to everything in the house. I worry a little bit about losing my hearing. I listen to a lot of music and I don't listen to it quietly. Although I don't listen to it like loud with headphones that much anymore too, you know? And it's not like my fucking car speakers aren't getting loud enough to, you're not rocking fucking 110 decibels or whatever the fuck it's supposed to get to to start destroying hearing, you know? I did go to a lot of concerts in my youth. I miss concerts. You guys want to go to a concert? Your priority? Fuck. I haven't been to a concert since COVID because I'm afraid. Since it started, I've been like, I don't want to be around people in that tight of a space, you know? Which is a bummer, because, like, I used to fucking love concerts, but it just it feels different now, you know? It feels so different. Not blasting on my headphones every day? Yeah. That's fair. I'm sure I'll go to a, con a concert again, but... At some point. Get out of the way! Going to a concert soon? What concert are you going to? It broke you out of being afraid? Can't be afraid now, huh? Oh, I don't have my sword out. Wow, he can hit me out of that thing? Ah! Oh! Starting to get a little sketch on this health refill. Are these checkpoints? Do I get checkpoints? God damn it. This feels like the end. Oh, this is the end. Okay, excellent. Cash money. Wow, this is not a bad way to get some money back either, huh? Depeche mode, nice. I had a friend who used to be, or used to have a friend. I've been talking to them in a very long time, but I, I used to have a friend that was like super into Depeche mode. And when I met them, I had only ever known Depeche mode as like this old band that my dad liked. I thought they were cool, but like I was never super into them, or I'd never listened to a lot of them at least. I say. I was like, wait a second, this is still an ongoing thing. Okay, we made it. We got the Triforce beat. Easy peasy. I could continue on her piece of heart. Uh. Gonna 
head to bed? Margaret, it's your night, Martian. It's good to see you. I hope you sleep well and have sweet dreams. Your mom got you into him? Yeah, my dad, my dad, thankfully, was a, a big uh, music fan. So I, I grew up listening so much. Fun shit. The amount of, like, 80s pop that I've listened to in my life. Okay. Go see our boy Tingle first, though. Oh, right, I have to be on the boat. Martian Star Emote? I don't know that one. Also, oh my god. Bussa. Bussa, what's your name come from? I would love to hear everyone's name origin stories. I love hearing origin stories for names. Lore time, yeah. Hit me with that hot lore. There was a shark. But extra cringe, oh god. <laughs> and then you just stuck with it forever. So it's Bussa T TV. Because I thought you were doing TTV, like Twitch TV. And I was like, I was always confused about that a little bit because it's like, normally people put that into their name so that you go and find it is TTV. So normally I see I'm your Bussa Twitch TV. I would see that in like. Oh, I already have that. Whoops, okay, I haven't got the thing yet. You see that all over the place, but you never see anyone do it on Twitch. And so I assumed it was something else. That's cool. That's fun. So literally like a table bus, uh, table busing. That's fun. My life is enriched by knowing this. Exactly. We're all better for it here and go down. Old online name Lizard was a character of yours. The Ransom was the random name I picked for my very first WoW character back in the day. Over time, it just became my online name. That's what happened with me. I used to play a shitload of... Oops. Play a shitload of SOCOM back in the day. And, um. I was in some, like. I don't know. Fucking clan group, whatever the fuck it was called. And, uh. I was underscore, underscore, snake, all caps, underscore, underscore, underscore. And then we were like, let's make a separate clan where we can all have alternate names where we don't get fucking harassed or anything. And we'll just do, like, I don't know. We'll just, like, focus on, like, all sniping or something like that. And I was like, okay, cool. And for that, it was pick an adjective and an animal. So I just went uh, the silent snake. And I was the silent snake for a long time. Like on that went from uh, like PlayStation and PSP and stuff. And then when I went came on Twitch fucking eight years ago or some shit. Not eight years. Seven? A long time ago. Um, I was the silent snake. And then I was like, boy, that is fucking high school edgelord kind of name. And so I changed it to the Silent Snack. And then I was like, that's still kind of high school edgelord kind of name. And then I became, oh heck it, Snack. To be, I grew from edgy emo boy to the goofball that I am now.
Is at least one other person who also uses Ranzen. You're someone I will never watch now? Really? When I see it, I then pay attention to... Um, I pay attention to how they act, you know? Am I in the right spot? This feels like the right spot. Um, if they're an asshole, obviously I'm not going to watch them. But if, like, it's kind of nice to know sometimes because if they're cool, well, then I know, like, oh, hey, I can see more of this person if I want to. Or, you know, you go and, like, peek their stream or something like that. I like it. I want to follow the seagulls out there, maybe. Huh? Nam and Ramen is taken really. That's so surprising to me. Yeah, that's very surprising. Take them out. Ah, there we go. Seagulls. Let's give me this Triforce, please. I'm being polite with that word. The sharpshooting? Aha! What's up, beast? Oh, hey there, cutie. Thanks, hot stuff. Peace, thank you so much for 41 months. I'm so excited for our one year anniversary. It's coming up. Fuck. I was so sure. I was so sure that was it. Thank you very much. Peace, how you doing? Okay, is it the cabana then? Tell me, chat, is it the cabana? Do I have to figure out the cabana to get this next piece? Coco Cabana? Super full, full of what? What'd you have? Pieces in the cabana. Okay. 
So to do this, I think I need to give the teacher air fried chicken. Oh, air fried chicken is so good. The crispy skin. Hmm. Man, we had some uh, had some Korean um, like drumsticks, like spicy drumsticks this weekend. Fucking special. That's got to be what it is. We got to go give her the, the necklaces. Man, could you imagine doing this without the warp? Oh, my God. You tell me the air is so hot it fried this chicken? When I first got my air fryer, I used it for everything. And embarrassingly enough, my mom, I blame my mom for this. My mom convinced me to try air fried fettuccine Alfredo. That was not good. You cannot air fry everything. But she was like, it's, it's so delicious. It gives it this crisp. It's so good. Did not work. Did not work at all. We also tried making a um we tried making a blooming onion in it one time and that also failed miserably. <laughs> blooming onion was gross. Peanut butter and pickled red onion sandwich. How was it? Was it disgusting? Not bad. See, I can't, I can't judge too quick. That sounds on, on the, like off the cuff, it sounds disgusting, right? But like, I watch a lot of uh, Roll for Sandwich <laughs> and there have been some cursed combinations. And, uh, and yet it worked out great. Like a lot of the time. one is the classroom it's the classroom who are you Shh. take off go away okay fuck you that's the rich person's house the fuck Stealth master, stealth master. <laughs> oh, that was fucking quick. Teacher, hello. Let's see. What's up, Punk the Gamer Rob? How you doing? My dear, that's a joy pendant. To tell the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and that why that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around here. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist, only one. To tell the truth, that after... Oh, God. I have to find seven more of these. Can I buy them somewhere? What's the fast way to get joy pendants? I don't even remember where they come from. I feel like I got a lot in the first dungeon. I feel like I got quite a few in the first dungeon. Okay, 
Okay, let's work on some other. Let's work on some other stuff. We'll collect more joy pendants. Beaver sword. Oh, the uh, like the pig looking guys. Grab him with the grappling hook. Okay. There's a shitload of those guys at the, um, what's it called? Guarantees it instead of RNG. Okay. That's really smart. Fantastic idea. I need to go to... Next. On the lookout platforms? What do you mean lookout platforms? I don't know if I've seen lookout platforms. That's not true. I guarantee you I have, but I cannot remember anything in particular to that would tell me like ah oh, that's what you're talking about oh like those like the skull lookout platform up there okay that makes sense when the hookshot could hook onto things. Pepper Charm remembers. Ah, there we go. That'll work. But it doesn't get me up there. Ah, here we go. Okay. Maybe this is what I need. What's in here? Oh. Looking like a lot of money. Okay. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> they come in from above. Okay. Fuck you. Ah. shards we have to we are at four we have four we have four and we also have two charts already so we've got three shards left and 
Wait, why do the do the charts not? I only need eight shards. And there's three more out here. Are there more shards than you need? I haven't done any of the charts yet. Oh, I got that one. Oh. Okay, so I didn't even realize that I had gotten this one. Interesting. Shorts. Hey, there we go. That worked out well. So I don't necessarily need the charts then, right? No, I do. Because not all of them are on this map. Please, please be it. God damn it. Won't appear without them, okay. Looking blindly, which seems not fun. Okay, how is this not... How is this not the spot? That can't be it. Can't be it. Yeah, that's confusing. How the fuck is this not the spot? something for a Triforce shard. Oh, close to it right here. That's convenient. I didn't even mean to open that. <laughs> that's really, that's really convenient. That's very convenient. Okay. What's up, Flip? How you doing? Doing well. Yeah, that was... I didn't even mean to open that one. I thought... Okay, so in my mind, those charts were going to show me ones that weren't on... Okay, I don't care. Move. Move. Trivia game? I'm enjoying it a lot. A lot more than Majora's Mask. I'm just happy to be playing something that's not Majora's. Ah. Ha ha. Gimme. Only need three more. We've got one, two, and a chart left. Um, get the chart. Yeah, we're getting close. Do you feel like this game is getting beaten tomorrow? Not getting beaten tonight. It's not. But it feels like tomorrow is possible, right? We're making good progress. The thing that scares me a little bit is the um, the ghost ship.
Ghost ship's pretty lengthy. There's a way to track it. The, um... What's it called? The guy, the camera guy, was giving me all kinds of ghost ship information. And at the, fuck. At the time, I thought it was optional, and so I ignored it. Like a smart person. Those red circles are okay. Where I found Triforce shards on the map. Let's walk up this. Yes. Got that. How the fuck do I get to the house? That's not working out how I wanted it to. That's not working out how I wanted it to at all. see this sign before. Let's see what this sign says. To reach Thorned Fairy Island, head north from here. It's north from here. How do I open that? Why do they want me to get on top here? Why do they give a shit if I get on top? Seems as though they do, they do not give a shit if I get on top. Orange Fairy Island head north from here. The, uh, yeah, the art style uh, we talked about a little bit um, earlier on, but like the cartoony art style really does a great job of making it seem uh, like it ages a lot better.
There's something up there. How the fuck do I get to it? I'm gonna love TP? Really? How sure of that are you? Like, would you say like 95%? One hundred percent confident. Really? Yeah. You don't understand why, really? So you're you like TP as well, Flip? That's exciting. Let's get some info from the fish. You see me play, you're confident? Nice. That makes me excited. You heard of the triumph of the golden triumph forks. They're there on that island, or at least a chart leading to them is there. Where's it hidden, you ask? Well, for the answer to that, you'll have to ask a gull. Let me get some more info out of him. Oh, he just repeats the same shit? Oh, what? Give you 10 arrows for that bow of yours. And I want you to aim those suckers at me when I leap out of the sea. A man fish. <laughs> Interesting. Well, there goes two hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. Fuck. not terrible. I got 7 out of 10. Not bad. I'm happy with that. Okay, so he said to ask a goal. I can't get up there. Shoot one of them? Okay. 
Rallies fries? Ooh, I love rallies. I've been around in a hot minute, but I'm a big fan. They've got such good, good fries. Aha! Fuck, I just killed him. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. Ooh, a freezer pack? I didn't know that they sold the frozen Rally's fries. That's good to know. Boy, I wish I had more arrows right now. Fuck. I don't have enough arrows. Non-stop goodies. Lucky. Here we go. There's a bunch of seagulls here. Maybe this is what they're talking about. I know. Rally's fry sounds so good right now. Fine. There we go. Thank you. Is this why they wanted me to come up here? Goals? Goals? Many arrows. Um, I don't know why I have that, but goddamn, am I excited? Damn, I got to do a bunch of that then, huh? Well, at least now we know what to do. Now you're mad? Uh-oh. Why are you mad? Are you perhaps mad because... Time to end. Thank you, chat, for hanging out. We made a lot of progress, and I know some things that I have to do next time, which is exciting. So we're going to make even more progress faster next time. Thank you guys very much for the hype train, too. That was... What a blast. I had a great time. It's fun to be goofy. Thank you for the help, Dragonon. Also, as always. Making the big moves in life? Thanks, man. Hopefully, it all works out and comes through, but uh, I'm trying not to get, like, too overly hyped for it, you know what I mean? But, like, it's hard not to. It is hard not to. Hopefully, things work out. Either way, tomorrow, tomorrow's going to work out. If you come here, I'm going to be here. And uh, we're gonna beat, we're gonna beat some Wind Waker tomorrow, and then it's on to Twilight Princess, which is very exciting. First time Twilight Princess coming up very soon. Have a great rest of your night. 
If you like first time Zelda, unspoiled Zelda playthroughs, Grom is doing his first, kind of first, uh, Breath of the Wild stream, and I am so excited for it. Go say hi. Keep him company. I think he's doing like a, you know, help me out, help, help me have a better time kind of thing. Go give him like, you know, some good advice if he needs it. Make it a good time for him. I need to, I need him to have a great time. <laughs> I need you to have a great time too. Sleep well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. Proud of you for making it through today, and I'll see you tomorrow for some Wind Waker. Good night.